Good morning, good morning, and good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to remind everyone to please make sure that our cell phones are turned to the off or vibrate position, and also please be advised our city council meetings are broadcast on Comcast Channel 99, AT&T UVerse, and the City of Gaston YouTube channel. This meeting of the Gaston City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Alvin Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolls. I'm here. Councilman Williams. Here. Worthy. Here. Back. Here. Wilson. Here. Cannon. Here. And Reed. Here. We have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Heath Williamson to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this day. Father, we thank you for your love, grace, your mercy, Father, all the blessings that you freely give us. Uh, we do ask today, Father, a special blessing on the mayor, his administration, and this council, Father, as they go through this final day of their service to the city. Father, we thank you for them. Father, we ask for your blessings on them as they uh, continue on in their lives in whatever endeavor and, uh, and, and whatever situations you place them in. Father, we know that they'll uh, just seek you and, and serve you as they have for so long here. Father, we pray for the new mayor and uh, his administration as well and that new council that's coming in next week, Lord. We just also pray that you continue to uh, bless them in this transition time as well as our city. Uh, just again, guide us through this day, Father, in the business that's at hand, Lord. Let us uh, honor you and glorify you with all that we say, do, and think. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and the city council meeting held on October the 25th. So move. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of October the 21st through the 27th. So move. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. We have a proclamation here. Um, is Ms. Laura Johnson here? Director of, of Manor. From the City of Gaston, Alabama, a proclamation, and whereas the City of Gaston is committed to the welfare of its citizens, especially those in need, and whereas Manor provides for the physical and emotional well-being of our residents who are elderly and homebound by furnishing a daily nutritional meal and companionship, and whereas 75 volunteers delivered almost 27,000 meals last year to over 115 clients. And whereas donations from places of worship are one of the biggest sources of funds to sustain manor. Now therefore, I, Sherman Guyton, Mayor of the City of Gaston, by virtue of the authority vested in me, do hereby proclaim November the 20th, 2022, as Manor Sunday. And witness thereof, I hear unto set my hand and cause the seal of the city of Gaston on this first day of November in the year of our Lord, 2022. Sherman Guyton, Mayor, Ivan Nelson, City Clerk. I just want to take a few minutes and say thank you for recognizing Mana. Mana is a big part of the city of Gadsden. And I also want to take a minute to thank all of you that are leaving the council and mayor because I know that Mana has been and held a special part in all of your hearts. I have received so much support from probably each and every one of you of some sort. So thank you for all of your service that you've done for our city and for Mana. And I hope that when you leave that y'all will continue to keep Mana in your hearts because we're not going nowhere. We actually served over 267 different people 
last year. We currently serve about 115 meals a day, but it can change from day to day. So y'all just remember manna and farewell and good luck. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Unfinished business. We have an ordinance amending the fiscal year 2023 budget to reflect receipts and appropriations of the Edward Byrd Memorial Justice Assistant Grant totaling $26,219 to be used for the purchase of dry suits and dive computers. This ordinance was presented last week for first reading. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this ordinance. So move. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Our next resolution ordering abatement of nuisance on property at 411 Van Cortland Street in District 6. And this resolution was tabled for 30 days on September the 27th. There is a recommendation from the building official to table the resolution for an additional 30 days. What is the pleasure of the council? I make a motion that we table this for an additional 30 days, please. Second. All right. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table the resolution for an additional 30 days, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for 30 days. This is the time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to are in favor of a resolution approving an alcoholic beverage license at Quickity Split Mini Market LLC doing business as Quickity Split Mini Market 2, located at 2300 Forest Avenue in District 6, has applied for a retail beer and table wine license off premises only. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? You want to speak in opposition? Oh, no, I just want to speak on behalf. OK. <laughs> oh, just stay right there. Stay right there. Yeah. Is there anyone to speak in favor? All right, now that's you. Your name and address, please. Uh, my name is Leron Kinchlow. Um, I'm the owner of Quickity Split in, on, in East Gaston and was interested in uh, opening up the uh, store in, uh, on 2300 uh, Forest Avenue. Did you live up to your bargains and lickety split number one? Quickity split, I have. All right. I have. I know that you have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little nervous. Any questions from the council? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What is the pleasure of the council? Move to adopt. Yep. Second. Clerk, we take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? No. We have one no. Motion carries to adopt. We have a resolution authorizing conveyance of property located at 35 Monarch Avenue, and the owner has offered to donate this property to the city. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So move. Second. Any discussion? Yes, this is a piece of burnt property. It's been burnt probably a year and a half, so we're just really going to have to tear it down and just take possession of the property. Okay. Uh, no business. Uh, we have we none. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. No business. Is there any uh, department reports? <clears throat> okay. Uh, at this time, we'll have uh, remarks by the council, and uh, I'm going to go first. Then y'all can repeat everything I say after I say it. <laughs> uh, first, uh, we did a video this morning, and I don't want to forget, but i uh, like to especially uh, thank uh, Mr. Chamberlain Parker. Uh, he was the one who has been, even though you saw uh, Mr. Rogers, uh, at the Helms, Chamberlain was the one who did the video, and we're very, very proud of the video. You did a great job. Uh, you did a super job, and just want to thank you very much. But at, at this time, I want to personally, uh, to the mayor, to the uh, city leaders, uh, especially the city members, the city departments, 
uh, I'm humbled to have served um, and shared with this council my ups. They've shared with me my ups and my downs, and I value your friendship. Uh, my experience for eight years has been uh, very uh, tremendous. Uh, and I have witnessed a lot of accomplishments that have made, been made due to this council. Even though you, some of you did not see the video, one of the things that you all need to know that the wellness center that will be built, the sports park that has been built, that this has already been paid for. Uh, in the last four years, the city has not had to borrow any money uh, to pay for any of the things that the projects that we've done. I looked at my sheet the other day. There were 29 projects that have been done by this council uh, and by this mayor in the last eight years that I've been here. We've had drainage projects that are ongoing that this council has been uh, responsible for. And so I'm, I'm very, very, very proud to be a part of the council. Uh, uh, I haven't had to fight these gentlemen up here. They've been very nice and respectful for me, uh, to me. And I want to thank them for that uh, because, uh, you know, I've always said and I still say that people don't have to be nice to you. And so I appreciate their kindness. Uh, I appreciate everything that uh, they've done. And, we, we, we're leaving the city very healthy, very healthy. Uh, financially, uh, there's stability uh, in all our departments. You know, nothing is perfect, but still we have some stability. And I just want to, you know, I want to thank all of you. And, and there's this one uh, poem, it's not a poem, but I, I, I want to say this, and this will be the end of my conversation. But beyond this place of wrath and tears, loom but the horrors of the shade, and yet the menace of the years find and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll, but I want all of you all out there to know that I am the master of my faith, and I am the captain of my soul. I want to thank all of you, especially the constituents that have come weekly to listen to us. And I just want to thank everybody. It's been a good, good experience. It's been a, I would say it's been a good ride. And I'm praying that the next administration and the next council will take up what we've done and go to higher heights, do better than what we've done. And so uh, I wish everyone, uh, if I could have left earlier, I would, but this has been a good day. I said when I first came that it's a great day in the neighborhood, and I'm leaving with a great day in the neighborhood. Uh, and I want to start with, uh, I'm going to start with uh, Councilman Back, Councilman Wilson, then I'm going to go to Councilman Worthy, then I'm going to go to Councilman Williams, go to Councilman Cannon, and the last, and the oldest, and the elderly, Charles Marie. <laughs> and the one will have the least to show. Charles <laughs> Marie. Well, thank you, Madam President, and I say that with uh, a lot of love in my heart and a lot of respect. Uh, you have done an outstanding job as our uh, leader of this council and it's been an honor and a privilege to serve not only with you but with everybody sitting up here on this dais it's uh it's been a very interesting four years as we all know uh, but uh, we have come through this and i think we're better and stronger for it if you haven't had a chance to see the video that chamberlain uh that dr tolls referenced about chamberlain parker and michael uh, putting together it's it'll be on the full version is going to be I think available around Thursday if I remember right so that'll be uh, that'll be something I urge all citizens to watch it's uh, basically a history of the last 16 years of what Mayor Guyton's administration and the various councils have achieved and it's it, it's very uh, uh, factual and it's it's very in, very encouraging and for those of us that are going to be serving again 
And I see some familiar faces out in the audience. We have, uh, the bar has been set very high. And so uh, I, I look forward to that challenge. But just want to end with it has been a real honor and a real privilege to be on this council with uh, the council members, council member uh, Williams and councilman Worthy, of course, Dr. Toes, Councilwoman Toes, Council, uh, Councilman <coughs> Cannon and Councilman Reed, those that are, that are not coming back in a, in a week. It's, it's been a, a real honor to learn from you. Uh, I think Councilman Wilson will agree that you, you come to the council and you kind of have an idea of what you're going to do and how it's going to go, only to find out you don't really know anything. And that certainly happened to me. It, it, it was a very eye-opening experience, very positive in a, in, a, in a lot of ways. But there's just so much to learn. Uh, you know, a, a large city, four or 500 employees, $56 million budget, 20-something departments. It's a big machine. And it's not, it's not something you just kind of walk in and then just kind of know everything. So the leadership that you see up here has been very helpful for a, a new council person. And I'm very grateful for that. Uh, love the friendships, lifelong friendships that I've made here with these council members and something I will always cherish and wish you uh, all Godspeed and, and real uh, even and smooth roads and may the wind always be at your back. Always. Thank you. Councilman Wilson. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Um, <clears throat> before we get into the formal part of my comments, I do want to uh, just point out that Gadsden's own Carnell Williams is now the head football coach at Auburn <laughs> University. Um, we are now the proud hometown of an Auburn football coach that makes us one of, I think, only three cities in the state of Alabama that have ever had an Auburn football coach from there. So, um, albeit maybe briefly, we can celebrate this moment um, and so find the silver lining. Technically, he's an Italo boy, but I'm not splitting hairs. Hey. <laughs> well, we claiming it. Are you going to get into uh, talking about whether we're all in this together or not <laughs> on the very last meeting? Uh, anyway, um, on, on to the matter at hand. Um, you know, it's been such a, like Councilman Back said, it's been such a learning opportunity for me. You come in and you have ideas about what you can accomplish and what you, uh, what you can, the impact that you can have and what skill sets that you can bring and it's only been an opportunity for me to have those uh, have those skill sets developed by everybody around here, you know, and something that I learned probably the most here, and you see this unfortunately in social media a lot, you know, I, the goal of politics is not to destroy your opponent. <laughs> You know, the goal of pot politics is to win your opponent over, you know, to convince them with eloquent arguments why you feel like you're right and they should come over to your side. And you see all these people, unfortunately, on social media, especially around election times, that burn bridges and lose friendships and, and you know, part ways with people that they've known for years and years and years in their lives because of political disagreements or supporting this candidate or that candidate. And what I want all you guys to know in the public is I've, I've been in opposition to just about everybody on this council at one point or another over the last four years on one or another particular um, issue. but. When this meeting is over, every single one of us respect each other, and every single one of us walk out in that hallway and we continue these conversations in an orderly manner, and these individuals have always been there for me, to support me, even when they didn't agree with me, even when they knew I was going to come in here and wax poetic from this microphone, <laughs> they still told me what they thought, they still tried to help me when they could, and even when I disagreed with them, the very next day I could pick up the phone and call any one of them, and they would help me on the next issue at hand. And so it's been such a... a a privilege for me as a leader in the professional business world to come into this totally foreign environment and be guided by some people that have so much history and so much experience in doing this and they taught me how to be a, be a better leader um, and they taught me how to be a better public service and elected official and I couldn't think of another group of diverse individuals that I would have rather um, been a part of for the last four years and in the words of my Paul Paul I'm sure he's not the original 
author of this, but uh, he used to always say, if everybody in the room agrees with you, you're in the wrong room. Mm -hmm. And so uh, thank you all for allowing me to be in here and play a part of this role. And, and thank you for all the impact that every one of you have had on my life. Thank That's you. all I have, Madam President. Councilman Worthy. I, all I can say is thank you. I gave my farewell speech about a, three weeks or a month ago because I wasn't planning on coming back, but they needed me, so I came back. So thank he you. He thought he was through. Yeah, I thought I was through. <laughs> but I want to say thank you to Ivan Nelson, our city clerk, and her whole staff because I know they got tired of me calling them all the time, but I called them all the time. They helped me every step of the way, and I pre and kept me out of jail. That's the main thing. So I appreciate it. And uh, to Lisa back there, Miss Lisa Rossa, we had our ups and downs, but thank you. Every time I called your office and asked you for a question or something, you always helped me. So thank you. And I can go down the list. Even Mike Hilton, thank you to him because I would call Public Works all the time. He would answer the phone every time I called him, just about. So, uh, and to the rest of the staff, you know, 34 years with the city, 26 as a police officer and eight up here, I'm gonna miss it. But I wanna also say thank you to the eight officers cause we are so short with our police department. We got eight officers that came out of retirement to be SROs and I'm one of them. So I just wanna say thank you to them for protecting our kids because they need it. And, Thank you all so much, and thank you to everybody that's sitting up here. I really appreciate you all over the, uh, these past eight years, and thank you so much. Thank you. Councilman William. Thank you, Madam President. Um, you know, again, it, it's at the risk of repeating some things, thank you so much to the mayor and his staff and Thank you to this council. I love each and every one of you. Um, you know, I, I appreciate the partnerships that we've established over the years and some of the hard work that we've done uh, as, a, as a council. Um, and, and of course, thank, thank you to all of the city employees um, for all of the hard work that you do. You, you're like the, you know, I often tell people that, uh, you know, we get to function like the swan floating the top, across the top of the water, and then there's city employees who are like the feet scurrying under the water that you never see. And so we really appreciate you. We're nothing without you. And full disclosure, I have a favorite, um, and she's sitting right over there. Ivan Nelson, she's my favorite. I love all of you now, but that's my favorite. Okay. So it needs to be, that needs to be clear. I, I appreciate, I am the luckiest city council member because I have the best district by far. I don't have nearly the hard stories that they do. And I appreciate it because I have a district full of amazing people. I probably got the most diverse district, uh, but it's likewise, and I think that's what makes it the best district. Um, and they are now in good hands because um, I, get, I wish I could take credit for hand picking him, but I just chose to support him. And Steve Smith is gonna be an amazing city council member. He's gonna do things much greater than I probably could have done. You, you, couldn't have, you couldn't have made a better decision. It's one of the best votes I've ever cast. And I'm so excited to be here. I'm not gonna get in the way, but I'm available if you need me, for sure. And I appreciate you, I'm excited for you. Um, T today I, I brought my middle grandson. You know, I told you guys when I when I gave my when I gave my uh, statement about not deciding not to run again. You know, there were a couple of prevailing reasons. Uh, you know, obviously professional responsibilities were one. Uh, you may not know this, but every four years I had to go through that conflict of interest uh, discussion with with the legal department to decide if me running and being an elected official was okay. Um, and, um, and, and, you know, we always manage to find a way to make it work with me, me operating under a specific set of rules. So, uh, so and, and it's worked fine. I, I have no regrets there. Uh, I, I, I appreciate my employers for letting me uh, serve as an elected official. My, my parents uh, both have hit the 7-0 mark, uh, two, 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 three score in 10 years. 
Uh, they're both dealing with their own personal health challenges, you know, and I'm an only child. So, you know, it's one thing to devote yourself to this life of public service, but you know what, it's time. It's time for me to spend some time with my parents. And I plan to do that. I'm going to be with them for the holidays and enjoy it and let my dad tell those stories over and over and over and over. But you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy them while I can. And, and then, of course, there's my grandkids. <clears throat> you know, I, I do a lot of what I do. I'm almost done, man. I, I'm going to do a lot. I do a lot of what I do because of him and his little sister and his older brother. Part of what we have to commit ourselves to as seemingly responsible adults is to what tomorrow's gonna look like for these young people. Th this guy here represents um, a lot of what you, yeah, you. This guy represents a lot of what society has become and what is and what's, what makes us great as a nation. Um, I think he's a beautiful child, partly because he's a makeup of a lot of different things. Um, one of his grandmothers is part Cherokee Indian. One of his grandmothers is white. And it doesn't hurt that his, uh, his g is good looking as well. That, doesn't, that part doesn't hurt, but, but, but he, he's just made up of a lot of different things, of diversity, and, and he's incredibly bright. And he represents what our world is today. Now, if you don't like that, shame on you. That's your problem. If you don't like that, shame on you. But I think he represents, again, what has made this nation great over the years. What makes us great in, in, in athletics? What makes us great in terms of our economics? What makes us great in terms of our, our strength as a superpower? It's the diversity of our thought, and it's the diversity of our people. And so I, I'll leave you with this, because you guys know that my, a big theme that I have in everything that I do and say is love. I think it's important that you know, and it's one of the reasons why I support uh, Councilman-elect Steve Smith so much, because he's a big love person. He, you know, everything that he does, he does it with a big heart. And, and, and I want to convey to the incoming mayor, to the incoming council, to continue to exude the love that's necessary to be a public servant to continue to drive the element of service. You're not here to lead in as much as you are to serve. Uh, and don't think about your position as an elected official from a position of power. You're here as a servant first. Never forget that. And never forget, as I've shared with uh, Steve Smith several times, never forget that you have to be the voice of the underrepresented. That's so <coughs> important. One of the many blessings that I think God has granted me is the ability to sit at the table, be a person that understands how the sausage is made, and be able to convey that to the people that may not understand how the sausage is made. So I, I do appreciate that, and I'll leave with a very, I'll, I'll, I'll end with a very wonderful, uh, you know, I was watching a Mandela movie. The timing couldn't have been better. I was watching a Mandela movie over the weekend, the one that uh, Idris Elba, plays in, where Idris is, is Nelson Mandela. And near the end of the movie, probably the, 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 the bottom third of the movie, man, um, he's walking out in a courtyard and he sees his two of his grandkids fighting. Or actually, no, they're, out, they're actually out there poking fun and doing this at the white security guards. And he sees it and he stops them. Hey, stop. And they stop and they turn around. And he said, why are you doing that? And they said, because we're doing that to make fun of the white security guard. He said, you're doing it because of the color of their skin. He said, that's not right. It's not right when they do it to you, and it's not right when you do it to them. Never do that again. And it, it was amazing that that moment, that that <coughs> example presented itself at the time that it did. Because I want to tell us, as a, it's important for us to be mindful of the mistakes that we've made in our past 
but let's get let's be better than our past moving forward let's be better than our past moving forward thank you that's my cannon thank you madam president uh, i had a big speech i'd already prepared to make and all that and you know i'm sitting here thinking in 1973 there was this 14 year old little boy that wanted a job wanted to go to work he went to work for the city at a baseball field with a stick and a bucket picking up paper he did that for a couple of years and one year he helped with the swimming pools the city had he didn't get paid that year by the city then the employees kind of made up and gave him some summer money that year and then in 79 he came on and went to work for the city full time and then after he retired in 2004, he became a councilman in 06, I think it was, for 16 years. I've been with the city of Gaston for 45 years. This last summer, it was 45 years. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, some's been good times, some been bad times. We've, uh, this whole council's been through a lot. When I first came up here on the council, I knew it all. I was the first person that knew everybody that worked at the city, all the department heads, and I was going to change the world. I thought I knew it all. Well, lo and behold, Miss Jenny Shavers and Ivan Nelson set me straight. It didn't take long to set me straight. Jenny's probably kept me out of jail on numerous times. She's come to me and said, hey, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? What's wrong with you? She's gave me all kind of legal advice, and her legal advice was really good because it was free. <laughs> and she really has helped me. And I just want to say this group of people I've worked with for 16 years is some of the best people I've been around. You know, there's, when I was here, there was all the old guys, and I was the young generation you now coming up. And, and now I'm sitting here, one of the oldest guys here now, you know, in this council. Not the oldest, Ben. Watch. But one of us. <laughs> Watch. And Sherman. But, you know, it, it's time. You know when God's got a, a time and a place for you to to move on to something else. So I'm fixing to start the new chapter in my life. I've got four grandkids. Every one of them is playing ball now, and they live in Tuscaloosa and Tampa. And so I've got to go and make sure I take care of those grandkids and watch them play ball all the time. And I've got a wife that she's been through a lot with me over these 45 years, and it's time that me and her spend some quality time together and do whatever she wants to do. And I do appreciate everybody here. And and I will say farewell. Councilman Reed. Now you know why you save me for last every time. <laughs> I tell you what, y'all eloquently covered everything. Now, and I believe you meant it. I really do. But this is the best council I ever sat on. Uh, the last two years have been rather hellish. But outside of that, I've enjoyed every minute. Of it. And we stuck together, y'all, like we said. Behave yourself, close your mouth because they made us, and carry on. But for 24 years, I've been sitting here, and I can say that because I've been on six councils, going back to Dawson and Bob and all them. But this one right here held together, y'all, and I'm not too sure the rest of them would, but I know we would and did. Uh, Buster, thank you for coming all this time. Curly's passed on, so on and so forth. To all the employees of the city that have always been helpful to me, honestly. I, I can't think of one that didn't. I wouldn't be here if they didn't help me. And it's been said by Deverick and Johnny. and uh, they, They're kidding around about going to jail, but they actually, uh, Jenny Shaver, and uh, they've kept me out of jail twice. But it was because I was ignorant to the facts, Steve, and I thought I knew everything. But when you get down and start reading the Ethics Commission's uh, guidelines, uh, you kind of have to worry. Then you hope there's a Jenny and a an Iva pretty close by to straighten you out. Anyway, thank you, y'all. Uh, that's all I have. And just outside, uh, I enjoyed it, and goodbye. Mayor. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, I was a football and basketball coach, and then I got in the real estate business and uh, never thought about running for office. And I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was so shy, I had to give a three-minute speech in senior English, and I was sweating. It was just running down my face. That's how shy I was. But uh, somewhere along the line, I guess I sort of got over it. But uh, since I've been with the council for the last 
when I, when I ran, I thought it wouldn't be just a couple of years. I've been here 16 years, but I've enjoyed every bit of it. And the council has always been good to work with. Of course, every, you know, everybody has issues sometimes, but everybody always was able to work out what they needed to do. And uh, I really appreciate all that and, and all the city workers. Uh, had a lot of people who were good workers. They did a good job, and I appreciated all the work they did too because I feel like we've really been able to move things along uh, to make things better for the next bunch coming in. And I just appreciate all of y'all that worked here because <laughs> I always would, uh, I was never afraid to ask for help because <laughs> you know, I know I wasn't the smartest one in the room. <laughs> But uh, we've had some good times and, and got a lot of good things done, and uh, I just want to appreciate all of you. Thanks. Anybody out there want to cry? <laughs> I call for a motion to adjourn. Go all right. I just, okay. I, go. I just want the record to show that Iva just let me go to jail. She didn't get me <laughs> on nothing. She will.